senior police officials, including you, are currently stationed in Udaipur. How have you been helping the investigating agency uh, NIA? And also, what is the situation with regard to law and order in Udaipur? What we have understood is that there have been protests in several pockets of Udaipur. Has the police been able to ensure that peace maintains and calm and law and order is in place after the gruesome murder of Kanaiya Lal, which took place day before yesterday, sir? Yeah, the investigation is with the ATS, and uh, the NA, they are in touch with the NA officers. Regarding law and order, they have been protested, but they have been peaceful. No untoward incidents have taken place after that major incident uh, two days before. And even today, there was a march uh, for about seven to 8,000 people probably. It was largely peaceful. No, in, uh, no incident happened. And we are confident that even the Ratiyatra tomorrow will be peaceful. Dinesh, sir, uh, has the NIA sought help from Rajasthan police? There is said to be a ter uh, terror angle also which the police or the investigating agencies are exploring right now? No, the uh, ATS and SOG, they will be cooperating with the NIA because they have registered the case first and they are investigating. And uh, they have arrested uh, the culprits also yesterday and uh, they are in, uh, those people are in their custody. So they will definitely be coordinating with NIA and they'll, Rajasthan police will give all the assistance needed. One last question, sir, because you mentioned that you had to go. Sir, uh, before, uh, before Kanaya Lal's brutal murder, it was said that Kanaya Lal had repeatedly complained, uh, pleaded before the police that he needs protection, that there is a threat to his life. Is the police's role and the alleged laxity of the police also being investigated? Why was that Kanaya Lal not given protection despite his complaints, sir? So even uh, some people have given complaints. We'll look into the complaint or exactly what nature of uh, complaint he had given and what nature of threat he had perceived and what action was taken by the police. It will be looked into once the laundered situation settles down.